Okay, everybody. Time to, well, go through this portal thing, I guess. There's still a little more we could do, but it's not very significant. And from what I was just reading, apparently we might get a little bug at the end and not get to see all the slides that we should see that depict the ending. So, that sucks. Not much for it, though. We'll just hope we get what we deserve. As... I guess so. Well, I hope so. I'm kind of leaning pretty heavily on those plus 100 health and plus 100 fatigue. And now we're here. There are all sorts of crazy things over here. Let's see. Let's work on charisma. Because yeah, I don't have any spells I want. Gotta do better than that. Come on. Jeez, Virgil. Oh, that looks like a thing. Void animal carcass. Sure. Let's grab that. Why? I don't know, why not? It wouldn't be there if it wasn't important in some way. Hey! Maybe I should have gotten more arrows. little lizards. So many lizards. Stop that. And I think that's the last two. One more right here. Come here, you. No reason to kill them all, but I just wanted to because they were being annoying. So, what do we do now? That we are here on an island. Do we step on this? We do! Alright. Now what? Floating jellyfish things. There's something too. Well, let's look around first. What a tangled mess. Oh, can't walk behind that because it's really flat. Do, 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 do. gone. 
coal mine. There's a staircase. Getting pretty close to leveling up again. Already. Of course, that's a lot of baddies. So, can I go that way or this way? down here. Spirit snake. I'm here for an axe. Get out of my way. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Really? He's like right there? Okay. Wait a minute. If he's just hanging out there... Then where does this go? teleport you. I see. So that's a back and forth kind of thing. Gotcha. So we're going in here. Hello, oh, Aura Duana. Yes. What is it? Aaron X. Your presumption is correct. And who might I have the pleasure of addressing? I'm Inyok. <laughs> become involved in events beyond my control, it seems. That is a feeling I have much familiarity with. Sometimes I feel that my fate was decreed from an early age. You are here because of your actions, not some cruel twist of fate. Do not misunderstand me. I take full responsibility for my actions. Though, how are one's actions determined, really? How is our view of the world shaped? Mine was shaped by arguably the most powerful individual in the world, my father. He raised me on tales of the righteous superiority of the elves and the destiny that brought us to rule over all the races. I don't think Nazardin's intent was intent that you destroy a whole city. What did he expect? He shoved a young, immature, inexperienced fool into a position of immense power and set me loose on the world. Why didn't he stop me? He should have stopped me. You're trying to tell me you feel guilt over what you did? Most certainly. I have had 2,000 years of my grievous errors and judgment replaying themselves in my mind. One tends to grow a bit of a conscience in all that time. Was it your new conscience when you threatened my life? I did no such thing. I've been here for ages. Do you really think I could reach across the void to torment you? Come out of your shell and fight me. <laughs> you fool! You think this is my protection? This is my prison! I've been trapped inside this shell for nearly 2,000 years! It's impossible. This must be some sort of trick. I assure you, it is not a light-hearted jest, though I wish that it were. I've been trapped here since soon after I was banished to this realm. Could have possibly trapped someone of your power here. This is Kurgan's doing. When I first came here and realized what he was becoming, I attempted to stop him. Our battle was intense, yet brief. As you can see, I was not the victor. Kurgan, the necromancer you had you hated and banished? One and the same. It looks as if I was correct as to the effects of his experimentation. His dark magics have transformed him hideously, in body and spirit. You think he could be behind all this? And then relay our gigantic story to him. Being that I am trapped in here, my opportunities to get information are, shall we say, a bit limited. On the rare occasion, Kurgan.
Durkin has deigned to visit me to play his intellectual games. He has dropped some veiled clues that might make sense in light of what you've told me. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say Kirkin is impersonating me. To what end? It sounds as if these dark elves you mentioned have patterned themselves after the misguided philosophy of my youth. They are proving to be powerful allies in his quest to return to Arcanum, it seems. I doubt they would be willing to help Kurgan the terrible return to exact his revenge. So, Kurgan is the one I'm here to stop. That would appear to be the case. If you were able to facilitate my release from this prison, it would be my pleasure to help you destroy Kurgan. Sure. Uh, okay. He seems to have turned over a new leaf, so how do I get you out of here? I'm afraid I do not know. I do not believe Kurgan could maintain this from a distance, so there must be something near here. What are your questions? Where's the Black Mountain Clan? I do not know. I would assume the gate they are building is located somewhere near Kurgan's castle, though. And what about the Void? I do not know much, but what I do know is that there used to exist some sort of civilization here, and the world was not broken up into distinct land masses. I do not know if some ancient war destroyed this realm, or if it was the doing of one of the heinous villains the Council banished. Council didn't even know what the Void was? It seems irresponsible in hindsight, but at the time they felt the Void was oblivion. Nothing was supposed to be over here. What is it that you wish of me, then? What happened between you and Kurgan when you got here? When I first came here and realized what he was becoming, I attempted to stop him. Oh. Our battle was intense, yet brief. You attacked him outright? As you can see, I, I was a bit full of myself back then. All the damage and death I had caused had not even scratched the surface of my conscience at the time. Full of blind rage and arrogance, I was. What is it that you wish of me, then? Uh... How can I release you? I'm afraid I do not know. I do not believe good. Okay, something near here. Well, that looks like a teleporter thing. I think those guys are the cause. Huh. Well, let's step through that and see if we can get back. things that got banished. He's 
very strong, as you can see, he's level 50, but he's ignoring us. And I think I'll just leave him, leave him here. He's he's fine where he is. You can get him in your party, but I don't think it's a good thing. Now where did it drop me? What's this down here? I have no idea where I am at this point. I'm looking for some way to power source of some kind. Maybe. It doesn't look like it though. Oops. near here. I don't really see anything out here that it could be it. I mean, these jellyfish look like they might make a power source or glowing, but they're not it, because they're all dead. Okay. So it's got to be on the other side of that teleporter, right? this place. You won't leave here again. I told you to leave. You won't be warned again. Neither will you. Step aside or pay the consequences. Oh gosh, it's a slads all over again. Monsters that can summon themselves. Have 
heavily guarded. Hey, I can loot him. What's he's got on him? A void ring. What exactly is a void ring? Oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do? Let's equip this void ring first. There we go. Now I'm super protected. Let's save another new slot. Go in here. Oh, hey. How's it going? More charisma. Why? I don't know. Kind of feel like it. It's powerful, Garrick Stout, most magical storm soldier. And not one of those other guys. He's screwed. Hey, how's it going? I could make use of all this unidentified stuff I'm going to find, but I can't, but I'll take it anyway. Another one. Must be important. Look at his staff. He's like, no, you want to look at the guy, right? That's why you're mousing over him, right? More fire elemental generators there. There's a fire there. That fire might be the issue. working out in my favor. Which is why I saved before I went in there. Why would they make guys that can summon fire elementals? Honestly. Virgil, perhaps. Get out of here. It's one way to deal with them.
again, go in again. for turn-based combat mode. So what was the point of that? Whoa. Industrial salvage. What on earth kind of good would this do you? I guess you could still craft things, so... Whatever, I suppose. What's through this door? It's a bunch of dead dwarves. I think I might need to stop the recording and look where the uh, how to free Aaron X because I think I might be heading towards the end game. Hey, how's it going? Okay, I'm stunned. I can still dodge while I'm stunned. And also my damage reduction is such that these guys can't hurt me. That was an interesting way to tank with my face. But it worked. So, you know, not complaining I guess. Another bludgeoner. Shoot your arrows at him. Oh, I don't have my bow. You guys have fun with that. Virgil, don't die. Virgil died. There's my bow. Okay. I mean, should I go in here, or should I go that way? I can go this way. I can go that way, or I could go that way, and they all lead to different places. I am lost. Let's take a peek over here. Oh great, now I have like eight ways to go. What's here? Okay. Here? Okay, what about here? No, what about over here? No, what about over here? some kind of puzzle where I have to go through them in an order because I don't see any like go here then here then here kind of clues. 
Not even vague clues. There's nothing here aside from a bunch of teleporters that all lead to the same teleporter. Can I go back on that, maybe? No. shouldn't have gone here yet. Didn't I wind up in a place that wasn't the hub of doom last time? I'm wearing this void ring that it sends me to that hub. Hey, more dwarves. From the other side has come. Who are you? Gringar Gringar Silverhammer. Did Stinner reach you before he died? He died before he could tell me what was happening. Perish in this horrible zeppelin crash. An airship, a boat that flies in the air, suspended under a large balloon. Uh, the world has changed greatly. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, what has happened? It's been lying in wait, looking for a way to bring dwarves over to this side. They knew the technology would eventually weaken the wards to the point of failure. So I had to accelerate the process. They needed a machine to open a rift by distorting what was already weakened wards. An elf couldn't make a machine to save his life. Then Bates made his steam engine. Exactly. Somehow they convinced King Logair to banish us. Shocked to say the least. But our king had spoken. We were told our banishment was to the Isle of Despair. This is where we ended up. You can only assume our king knew nothing about our of their true intent. I don't believe he did. We were beaten mercilessly, thrown in chains. As our work progressed, the gates then our formulated a pan. As soon as the gate had any functionality, he would go through and attempt to warn the other side. You noticed? And they would try to stop him. You know, preparations to disguise himself as a gnome. He starved himself to the point of sickness. And when the gate was near readiest, he shaved his beard believed that a full responsibility for what had fallen us was his, and he would do whatever he thought necessary to make things right, even that. What happened after he went?